Hey folks, it's IO Ether, and we're back with some more The Walking Dead. So, this is the definitive Telltale version, and uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. If you haven't picked this thing up, you should really pick this thing up. Um, even for fans who aren't, who haven't actually seen the show, I have not seen the show. I still love this game. So yeah. Okay, um, getting right back in where we left off. Tactic. You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. Okay. Well, that was that was that was a long conversation. <laughs> Let's go talk to this guy. You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. Ah, I'm not sure I follow. I ain't dumb. I caught you in that lie last night about who you were with in that car. And honestly, I don't even want to know. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are naked with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. Yeah. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. That's true. That's not good. Go! I'll get my gun! How the heck did they sneak up on you? Oh. Oh. We no, we we saved the kid. Well, uh, crap, get out. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, I'm sorry. Sorry, your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry, and you. You didn't even try to help. I thought I could help them both. You thought wrong. Obviously. Now. Please. Just go. Get out and never come back. Just wait a day to get the tractor off him. You know, just in case. 
I don't got think that ride to make it if you want it. I would rather ride to a castle with like five hundred guys that could help me keep it safe, you know? Well, where I guess. Well, this is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. How do you get a car parked that way on uh, such a small street? You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. You don't think he's friendly. Fuck! We're trapped! <laughs> okay. Well, I like her. That is interesting and actually works really well. We can't take risks like this. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Uh, worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. Then we let them. We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What? What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. In a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. Uh... I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. I don't know. Wait, can you believe this lady? That lady's my daughter. I can see the resemblance. My son won't grow up to be a raging fucking lunatic, that's for certain. Son? Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body. We'll dig one hole. No. I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. <laughs> upsetting is getting eaten alive. What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. She's not some snot-nosed toddler, okay? She's okay. United States Air Force. Oh, fuck you and her. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, when she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then, there'll be three. And that boy is the ballgame. Then we deal with it then. 
but right now we're just freaking everybody out. Then get ready to deal with it because that boy is bit. Not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now. No! You don't touch that boy! You don't touch anybody! I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You wanna get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! <coughs> Jesus! <coughs> <Come and talk. coughs> Father. What's with me getting knocked out? Get away from her, you son of a bitch! Oh, right. Pressing buttons now. Man. Okay. Cool. Oh. Yeah. You okay? Just great, thanks. because of this bitch and Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was... Uh, uh, Dad! Up. Ah! Ah! Okay. What's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Oh. Behind the counter where the pills are. Through the office. Probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. Jeez. You're insane. Well, it's gotta get done. Plus, I'm quick, and I know Macon. Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll okay. shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Okay, I guess we're doing what we do best. <laughs> Breaking into stuff, apparently. It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. So wait, I mean, uh, obviously, there's no point using it for money. Ooh. Oh yeah, we'll take the food. I don't know the last time I, was, I ate, so you know. Alive inside? Or was alive inside? I really wish I had a weapon. I can't. I can't think about them in here. Okay, well, I don't want to go that way. This door leads to the back alley. Yeah. 
first aid kit. Oh, actually, yes, yes. Let's first see. First aid kit. Let's see if we can patch me up somehow, so I can stop running into things. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Oh, apparently not. Um, she probably still has to go to the bathroom. What's that? This is, is my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. Okay. So wait. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. Mm. Things have been scary, huh? Yeah. It's not good. I don't know why everyone is crazy. Neither do I, Clementine. Yeah. Nobody does, I don't think. I bet my dad does. <laughs> okay, here we go. <sighs> you know, I actually feel a really strong connection to this, uh, because... Do you have kids? Um... No. You don't have a family? I, uh... Looks like I'm gonna pause here for a second. I was basically a single guy until I moved in here and got married, and then suddenly I had a five-year-old girl. So, yeah. Um. What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Ah. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like um, social studies. Yeah, like that. <laughs> You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. <laughs> <laughs> She's really good at Smith saying on point. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Because they're dead. Oh, I'm sorry. I probably no. shouldn't have said that. I'm just sorry for being mean. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I got into some trouble and then I didn't talk to them for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay, because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Now, uh, let's get this done. Okay. Ow! Oh. Are you uh -oh. okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find well, you a bandage. First aid kit it is. Ooh, TV. Photo. Oh. Find anything? Photo of the family who owned this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. 
I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> it's true. Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? No. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Okay. Ah, uh, if you're on YouTube, then you're gonna have to pop back tomorrow to see if we can trust her. Uh, in the meantime... Uh, everybody on Twitch, just stick around. We'll be right back. For everybody else, um, yeah. I'll see you <laughs> on... Everybody on YouTube, I'll see you in tomorrow. Have a great night. This is IOE Throat.